Hi, this is Paul from Model Builder International. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The link is down there. That way you get notified of all the uh, all the things I put online. Uh, today we're going to have a look at the new decal sheet from Life Flight Decals again. This is a 132nd P51 Part 4. Okay, so let's have a look inside the bag, see what we get. Uh, so it's a nice Ziploc bag, sealed at the top. Plenty of space for getting things in and out. And we have... Um, there's four decal sheets there. They're attached together in pairs, so they don't move around too much. We also have a half sheet there. And two color pictures. So this is lifelike decals 32021 P51 part 4. You've got four aircraft recommended for the uh, Trumpeter P51B which is that one obviously and either the Tamiya or a Revel uh, 51 Ds will work as well for the for the 51 Ds. And also uh, website and email for the company as well. Um, obviously views, top bottom views and part views of the wings. Uh, 23 different references used in producing these. So then I like the fact that all of these are all of these are pretty colourful which is pretty nice. Over the page, um, basically details about the aircraft. It's almost like a little short potted history of each aircraft. Um, P-51D from uh, Duxford. Lots of checkerboard on that one. Um, number two is from Martlesham Heath. Um, and again, really bright and colourful. Uh, aircraft number three is from Kunming in China in September 1944. Um, it's obviously quite a, a different to the other ones, uh, um, mostly green. And the last one is uh, in England again, a little Walden, a P-51D. Um, I really like the fact that Lifelike go into a lot of detail about the history of the aircraft. They'll give you things like what uh, what tire tread the aircraft had at that time, any little variations in colours and things that you can will allow you to basically build your kit, so it was exactly right for a particular time period. Um, they also do corrections to their decals as well. That's where the the website link uh, comes in handy because if you go there, if there's corrections for the decals, they'll put them on there and you can uh, ask them to send you a copy of the decals. I seem to remember for the 148th version, that Los Angeles City Limits, um, they found another reference and they ch or images or something and they changed it slightly. I think it was the text they changed slightly. And that's on there as uh, uh, available for the 148th scale. So they um, they really do their research um, and make sure everything is good. And if they find new information, they'll update things as well. Um, and even these little histories are pretty interesting. Um, so John about the uh, uh, Wild Bill Crump, he had a uh, the wolf that's on his aircraft here is actually buried in England. So those are all pretty good. There's plenty there, plenty there to get it right. Here you've got the stencils. Um, it's a complete set of um, stencils for one aircraft in there. Also a note here, uh, please use stencil marks for the kit. Decals paint black bands on the wings and tail. So if you need the black bands, um, just paint them on there. Let's have a look at the decal sheets themselves. Start off with uh, these ones are by Microscale and the colour ones are by Cartograph. 
So I'll put these on the screen while I have a quick look at them. Um, stars and bars, as you'd expect. Um, the backing sheets all look nice and small. Uh, there's no, in fact, you can't even see the stuff apart from where you'd expect it to appear to hold things together, like the checkerboards and such. Um, they looked very nice. Um, obviously, the Colourful decal sheets have been done by Cartograph. Well, actually, fact, it's just the main colour one is Cartograph. The three of the sheets are done by Microscale in the USA. Um, and all of these look really good. Nice colour, minimal backing film, exactly what you'd expect from lifelike decals. So, in all, it's a pretty neat set. Um, Use the decals from decals and stencils, or some decals and stencils from the from donor kits. You could easily do all uh, all four of these, and you'd end up with some pretty bright coloured uh, one thirty second P fifty ones on your um, on your shelf. Um, you can get these decals from several places. I'll put a link underneath the video to uh, Lifelike Decals website. You can buy them there as well. In Japan. Uh, so that's about it. A really nice colourful um, big, big 132nd scale kits. Uh, many thanks to Lifelike Decals for sending it along for us to have a look at.